Hoseman? Here. Attorney Miller. Mr. Welcome. I'll look to our special call meeting this morning. Does everyone have an agenda? The purpose of this meeting this morning is to discuss village rate increase. Like I've made it pretty clear that this is not one of my most pleasant subjects to discuss, but it's come to a point now that it needs to be discussed. And I think everybody on the board has made themselves pretty clear as to where they stand. Except for Mr. McDonald, of course, he's been out of health places for the past couple of meetings. But uh, now I'm going to give Mr. McDonald an opportunity to make a comment to where he stands, and then we'll move forward with a discussion of the military increase and entertain a motion and vote. Mr. McDonald? Thank you. It's good to be back. I'd rather have been here and where I were, but I had no choice much. It's going to be difficult talking. I uh, had a tube down my throat twice in two weeks and it's still giving us some trouble. Otherwise, I'm doing fairly good. I appreciate the calls I got from the people, uh, whatever you uh, your prayers, your concerns, and thoughts. It meant a lot to me. Uh, I have really been overwhelmed in one way uh, with all that's been going on since we uh, thought we had everything uh, balanced out uh, and going. Okay. I'll just briefly give a few comments of where I have come to my decision. Uh, don't want any of you think that it's me who decide what we do or we don't have a tax increase, it definitely takes three votes from this table to do either or either. Uh, we have uh, <coughs> talked about from time to time and discussed some of our problems. Uh, the biggest thing that come to my mind, if money would fix everything, Washington wouldn't be broke broken like it is today. Uh, we have got several things in this county that we as commissioners, it's our duty and responsibility to see after and oversee that uh, we still have a tremendous amount of spending going on that's somewhat unnecessary. I have spoke to the board on two or three occasions fire department being one of them. Uh, I have did a lot of study and follow up on that. I have talked with quite a few people around in different, particularly the precincts that I represent. Uh, there's not going to be no quick fix and I know everybody's concerned about your insurance rate and going up. Uh, mine did the same thing. I was not excluded. Uh, but we have got so many of our fire stations in this county that's totally out of place. Uh, we got some that's so near another county line you could throw a baseball over in the next county. We got some within a mile of it. We got some within a mile and a half. And I could go on and on and, and then name them. And I know the fire chief thing has been a big concern with some of the commissioners here, but I personally at this time, until we try to restructure in some things, uh, I don't think no matter who you had running the fire department would make a great amount of difference. Uh, we started out talking about a quarter of meal increase. Then we talked about three quarters of a meal. And the last meeting, I, I believe I've only missed just uh, one meeting. I was in the hospital. But it had gone up to 1.405, I believe is the correct figure. Yes, sir, that's correct. On that, if I remember correctly. Well, and 
then we have had a lot of requests to come back before this board on some things. I have did a lot of calculating and figuring. It will take approximately two and a half meals if we set out to fix the things that are needed fixing in this county and to bring us up in line with the, we, we've got some employees that's been totally overlooked for years uh, on any kind of a raise. Uh, we have other employees that, according to the chairman and I talking on the phone, uh, they feel like if we don't do a raise on some of those, we may lose some of them. I don't like to lose people. Uh, they need a way to prevent it because it's going to cost you to replace them. It's not going to save you anything. Uh, we are. We we have a situation we've talked about uh, at the public works department. We're currently burning on-road diesel costing between 50 and 60 cents a gallon more than off-road diesel on equipment that's running out there in the county along where the farm tractors are running. All the farm tractors run off-road diesel. They actually perform and have more horsepower running off-road diesel. Uh, they just a number of things. Uh, the, the amount that was presented to me the 1.405 unless we as a board can come together up here and start working on some things to make some reductions and cut out a lot of uh, the unnecessary expense a lot of the waste uh, my personal feeling is that small amount would probably be consumed within two months and we'd be right back where we're sitting here today. Um, I have a major concern I discuss with the, with the Humane Society. Uh, we have the budget for that when it was transferred over almost double. Uh, I wish I could feel that we county people out here was getting the service that they used to have. I don't think they are. I think the majority of it is people that don't want to see a dog put down. I don't like to see anything put down. Uh, I've run off the road a few times to keep from hitting a dog or something, other a deer or something like that. I don't have no hatred or dislike among animals or people that love their animals. We're in a situ serious situation, uh, very serious. And I, I haven't had a chance to know the feelings with other members of the board. If, if we're going to fix something, I think this board needs to fix it all. Uh, we, we're looking at a situation with the request for increases for certain people that are employed by the county. I think it would be totally disastrous if we give some people increases and not even give anything to the other people. And I know it's been several years since uh, anyone other than a, a very few has uh, been given any kind of increases we really. have. And all that consideration, and believe me, I took this thing to heart because I definitely feel more than a lot of you might would imagine about this county and the people. I was born and raised here and uh, never lived but one spot for 70 years. And uh, I certainly want to do what would be the best and to carry our county forward to do the best job. But the amount of increase that we're looking for uh, because it come deadlock on, on that amount. Uh, I just can't see where that would be getting us anywhere as far as getting things put in perspective for our county and doing the things. Uh, 
I, I have a, a deep concern about some departments, 11 and 12, that was cut beyond uh, imagination. Uh, they're still here. I know they're struggling. Uh, I know the rec department last year was $185,000 and was reduced down to $50,000. I'm being told by the people out there that they don't know if they can keep operating with that. Uh, in reality, they got a double cut because the city's agreement is only put in what the county puts in. So the city gave them 185,000 last year, so did the county. And now the city's gonna only give what the county puts in. So they are dropping back to a, a figure of $100,000. And I know people that's got children, uh, uh, grandparents, parents, uh, they love to go out there with a family thing and uh, with the children. Uh, at this time, I'm not in position to make any kind of motion uh, at this point in time. If the board can show me that we can come together and that we can do what is necessary and mean business about it and address several of these type issues. If I didn't cut all the waste and things out of my farming operation, I wouldn't be in operation today. But thanks to my, me and my brother's hard work and labor, God's blessing to us to we're still a prosperous farming operation. It takes a lot of dedication. It takes a lot of hard work. It takes putting in a lot of extra hours sometimes when things come up that what we all have been facing out here in this down, turned down economy that uh, we're happy. Uh, I noticed on the news last night up in the <clears throat> Callaway Garden, they selling off one half of 13,000 acres of some of the beautiful scenery and trees and stuff, overgrown trees up there. And a lot of it is tax-related issues, not all of it, but a lot of it is. I, I was up there last year and I talked with the Bo Callaway Jr. Mr. Bo was getting on up in age. If, if you remember, he ran for governor was defeated by Lester Maddox. I think Georgia would be way ahead today if Bo Calloway had got elected, but that didn't happen. But they're laying off over 200 people in their operation and, uh, and making major cutbacks on a lot of things that's been going on up there. And I feel that we're going to be facing some of the same thing for the next few years. I hope that I'm wrong, but the main thing we got to look at is seeing how we can do more for less money. If we can't come together and do that, we're going to be in a serious situation, very serious. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Chairman, you have any comments? Mr. Chairman, I think you know my position. Yes, as I stated previously, that we definitely need some supplement income in order to stay afloat in this county. Uh, we're at a point now, either we do or we don't. And if we don't, then we're going to find ourselves in a very, very unstable position in my opinion. We got to have some type of supplement for for departments who say they got to have something to operate and they, they got to have these things operate because the state say they gotta have them. If they don't, they're in violation. If we don't provide for them, then we're in violation. I mean I take my oath serious one. When I sworn in, when I was sworn in to be a commissioner to provide give us that authority to provide for the for the county as a whole. They don't tell the sheriff that you can raise taxes, they don't tell the tax commissioner that you can 
raise taxes. They say you got to do the job that we say do. And the government authority have to supply you with the, with the resources. But we don't have any resources unless we go back to the taxpayers and ask uh, for increase. I mean, it's not a mathematic, mathematical genius that have to come out of this. We, we need the funds. The only resource we got is to ask the taxpayer for provide an increase. If we fail to do that, then in my opinion, we fail to do our duties. Of course, we're not trying to have any slush funds around here because we've cut the budget. Everybody around here knows we've cut the budgets to the bare bone. It is, it's fruitless and senseless to think we can cut it anymore. Yeah, there are areas that we're probably tightened up and, 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 and reserve some funds, some spendings, but it's not going to be sufficient to carry this kind of forward. So the bottom line is we do a tax increase or we suffer the consequences. And right now, I don't know what the consequences would be if we fail to do that increase. So my position is the same as before. I think we should carry the tax get us right back up to the board course. stands where it was at the last meeting. 
I recommend that the county go back to the millage rate of 11.66. That's my recommendation. And where this money goes, I think these departments need to be looked at very tightly, very closely, to make sure that this money is used in a proper manner. And uh, that's my recommendation. And uh, I would make a motion for that. Mr. Chairman, I need to make a comment before you get your motion. Yes, ma'am. You keep saying that we should go back to the millage rate that was in 09. You have to remember there was an assessment that started at the end of 2007, went through 2008, and was put into effect in 2009. That's why the millage rate was reduced, because the property values went up. Well, my contention is if we'd have left the military where it was, that we would be going through this today. And, uh, you know, yeah, it would have been tough to have done that tax increase at that time. But things were a lot better at that time than they are now. And, and I know hindsight's 2020, but I still, in my personal opinion, I wasn't on the board at that time. I was a taxpayer at that time. Of course, I was like everybody else. I enjoyed seeing the tax reduction, but I don't think the board took into consideration what was going to be in the future. And the future is here, and we've tried to balance the budget since that time, and I know a lot of states have made about the federal government. The federal government has not had a balanced budget in, I can't even remember, when. they haven't even had the budget. This is the fifth year. The budget hasn't even been taken forth from the federal government. But my, my recommendation continues to be to go back to 11.66. I'd love to see a two mil increase, but I would love to, I would love to finish out my next three and a half years, so I don't want to get shot. But I think 11.66 is a good figure to go to, and then we can hope that by going to 11.66, we can give the departments in this county what they need on a limited basis and continue with good service. That's my recommendation, and I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion that we make the fearless rate of this that to be 30.66. Okay, we have a second. If not, I'll second the motion. All in favor of increasing the village rate to 11.66, say aye. 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 All opposed? Aye. No. Uh, well, folks, we got a problem, and we're going to have to deal with it. So, you know, when your services are cut, y'all can look back and see that Mr. Gaines and myself want to move the county forward. And what we're going to see now is the county become stable and possibly back up. They have a motion to adjourn. Have a second. second. All in favor? Aye. Uh. Hello, Ms. Depp. Heidi.